So hello and welcome back. Today we are going to build the Hattabot, which is the ROS2 enabled robot that we're going to use for the Advanced Mobile Robotics for Autonomous Vehicles Labs. So I want to go through the kit and describe some of the items that are in it. And we will do use these in order to get everything put together. So here's some of the items that you're going to find in your kit. One is a small breadboard, a small breadboard for building electronics. Also inside the base kit, you're going to find the two parts that create the chassis. So here is the bottom and top part of the chassis. There are going to also be two motors in the base kit. So here's one motor and the second motor. You attach the wheels to these to drive the robot. Then here are the wheels that will attach to the motors for driving the robot. Here is your battery holder. You're going to need four AA batteries, four AA batteries for that. And then a small baggie of electronics. In this small baggie of electronics, there's your back caster wheel, there's the screws, um, there are the nuts and all of the other things, including some wires that you're going to need for all of your electronics connections. There's also a small breadboard in the kit that you're going to need. And then we have these Velcro attachments that will be used to hold the battery holder to the base robot. Then there's another baggie that's called Base Kit B. Inside Base Kit B baggie, we have two really tiny baby breadboards, another battery holder, the microcontroller, which will serve as the brains for the robot, and your motor driver, or the H-bridge. Base kit D is just standoffs and nuts and wires. So that's what's in base kit D Ziploc bag. Then we have an add-on bag that is labeled speed encoder sensors. Speed encoder sensors. It has various wires as well as the speed encoders. It looks very similar to motors, but a different color. And the last bag you should have is our add-on range sensors. And if you pull those out, you will find the connectors for your infrared sensors, as well as several different connection mounting pieces, as well as one, two, three, four infrared sensors. Okay, now we're ready to get everything set up and to start building. 